Hello, boxing fans. I'm Smitty. Welcome to In This Corner TV.com. We're joined by Amir Khan. He takes on Dimitri Salida December the 5th. Welcome. Hi, okay. Let's talk a little bit about your uh, training. I was very impressed watching you under the tutelage of uh, Freddie Roach. How are you doing with your career? Yeah, the, my career is going really well. You know, um, just recently I won the WBA world title at light welterweight, which is junior, is that junior, junior welterweight, yeah? Yeah. Uh, and now I've got a fight against Salita on December 5th, so I'm in training with that. Uh, I've been training alongside Manny Pacquiao for this camp, uh, and Freddie's, you know, you know how good Freddie is on the pads and how good he is as uh, a tactician, you know. He he gives he gives you a game plan to follow in a in a fight, and if that a, game plan A doesn't work, then you have a game plan B. He's improving, he's talented young guy, he got a lot of speed, he's got a lot of similarities to Manny Pacquiao, his speed and power. And uh, you know, we're fighting Salida, a very good boxer, uh, you know, come to, comes to the ring uh, with, with his rabbi and uh, he has a, good, a pretty good following and uh, he's a number one contender, he's a mandatory defense and uh, um, I think my guy is too much for, the, for, 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 for Salida, but he's going to be a good fight and uh, we're going to fight in Newcastle and um, Amir's, I think this will be his last fight in the UK because he wants to come to America and show himself over here. Tell us what you're working on, what you're primarily working on to develop your skills. You've always been an outstanding boxer. You've got a great frame for a fighter. What are you working on the most to make yourself even a better fighter? Yeah, we're just working on the defense, you know. Um, there's a lot of room of improvement, you know, as I'm getting um, bigger and uh, the fights are getting tougher. So just working on things, uh, how to pace yourself in a full 12-round fight, uh, how to cope with pressure fighters, how to cope with guys who are going to be boxing you, um, and you know, up to now, you know, it's gone really well. The sparring partners that we get, uh, which Freddie gets for me, are probably as tough or tougher than my my opponent. Um, so fighting a real fight's fun. That's right. Yeah, you know, a real fight's easier. Yeah. You know, the harder you work in the gym, you know, I believe um, the easier it is in the ring. But yeah, you, we work. We've been working on a lot of you know different drills on footwork, different drills on combinations, what to throw, uh, and still be in defense. Um, and you know it's working well for me you know I'm working on the things that Freddie tells me I work on it in sparring and I can see the difference you know uh, Amir I would imagine I mean being with Freddie Roach being with Manny Pacquiao and being involved you know in some of these mega fights that has to really rub off and make you more prepared for oh, definitely it, physically and mentally definitely you know if you, when you see the 24-7 uh, guys the crew when they're in the gym and then you see all the media um, you know it, it just motivates you I think it just it, it puts that hunger in your body because you want to you want to do that you want to be there one day I want to be in Manny's position you know I want the, what he's got now uh, I want to become one of the perm for perm best fighters in the world um, you know I'm still 22 I've got a long way to go but you know it's, it's, it's going the right way um, but when yeah it, it's a motivation when when people come to the gym and uh, when Manny's training and training alongside Manny, it's a, it's a big motivation for me because it just gives me that extra push, you know, where I could be probably just training, but when I know Manny's there watching me as well, it makes me try a lot harder. Uh, Manny also gives me good tips. Uh, we train together, we run together, so we like we like friends and and we spar together as well sometimes. So you know that itself is brilliant. In this corner, TV.com with Amir Khan, uh, you had the one hiccup in your career. I, I think it's made you a better fighter. Oh, definitely, you know, I think that was a blessing in disguise, but, um, you know, it was against Prescott, he beat me in the first round, uh, it happened so quick, uh, maybe, you know, God done it for a reason where he wanted to uh, show me, look, um, I, maybe I wasn't trained so hard, uh, I was slacking a little bit, uh, there were... That I needed to move away from the distraction in England. You know, in England, it's a place where I can't really walk around anywhere. I get a lot of, you know, a lot of people come up, coming up to me. Not, not, not only boxing fans, but the general public. You know, for pictures and autographs. And you know, that is like a distraction. Uh, I started living the life of, you know, uh, like a superstar before you even make it. 
You get what I mean? Going opening shops, uh, doing big sponsorships. I've got a deal with Reebok, and they, you know, being on big billboards and everything. So you know, I started probably my concentration maybe went off a little bit. So after the feat, you know, it it woke me up. I realised that look, this is a sport, a tough sport where I need to be professional, um, and that's the reason I moved to the wildcard gym where I'm away from all the distractions in England. Uh, I can work hard. I get treated like a normal fighter. I get treated like a normal person, um, and you know it's it's work for me. Whereas I know if I, if that defeat didn't happen, I would have still been in England, living the normal life, uh, living living the high life. Sorry, uh, but you know training would have been like a normal day. You know, you're, tell us about your fan base. We were very impressed. Uh, you know, our stuff goes on in this corner TV.com, SecondsOut.com, MaxBoxing.com, and you receive so many uh, you know comments. Uh, tell us about your fan base. Yeah, you know, I've got a mixture of fan base. Um, I've got um, a lot of a lot of my fans are not really big boxing fans anyway. They they like the general public. You know, uh, it's like the Katelnik fight. Um, Sixty percent of the tickets were sold to women. You know, so you know, it's a good thing. I, it's a good thing. Yeah, you know, I my image is. Um, I know all about that. That's why the women watch these broadcasts. To, uh, I look different than most of the uh, boxing commentators. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely, man. But you know, with me, is uh, they see a different image uh, of me. Um, but end of the day, I'm a fighter, you know, and I've been quite lucky where I've got the fan base uh, in England is huge, and now I want to move to America. I want to fight to America. I want to fight in America. Uh, after this Salita fight, hopefully it goes well. I want to defend my title in the U.S. and fight the likes of Juan Diaz and uh, the big name, the big big name like Marquez one day, and I'm sure that'll be that'll that'll get my name just just as big as it is in England. What about uh, the possibility of a fight with Ricky Hatton? Well, people are talking about that fight, and I think in England it'll be a huge fight. You know, we have totally different fan bases as well. Well, you know, he he generates a different fan base, where I generate another different fan base. And I know if we fought, the fight in Wembley could definitely sell out. It'd be a big money fight. It'd be a huge fight. But I'm gonna, you know, I'm the WBA title. Now. I've got WBA title. Uh, I've got Salita to worry about, and then I want to make a debut in America. And then maybe in the future, you know, if the fight ever happens, if the promotion team get together and they sit down and talk, I think the fight could happen. And finally, look into that camera and tell Salita what's going to happen to him December the 5th. Well, you know, Salita, yeah, it's going to be a tough fight. Um, you know, I train so hard, just like I'm sure he's going to be training very hard. Um, but, you know, I can see this fight not going the distance. We both have an explosive style. Um, and I could see this fight going my way, stopping him around round 9 or maybe a little earlier. Thanks for joining us. Thank Amir Khan. Much,